Today, I'm gonna to turn this chunk of 6061 aluminum into what I believe is a pretty sweet bit holder. For all of your CNC cutting tool needs, check us out at bitsbits.com. So this entire project is made out of a three quarter inch thick, eight inch wide, eight inch long square piece of T6 6061 aluminum. And I'm holding it down to my waste board just using some double sided tape. The feeds and speeds in this video are a rough recommendation for what I used for my machine. It's really tough making videos where everybody has a different CNC setup and you will need to adjust these to fit your machine and of course your router that you're using in your CNC machine because they all have different minimum and maximum RPMs. You're also going to have to listen to your machine to determine if you're going too slow, too fast, or if your RPMs are too slow or too fast. In other words, my feeds and speeds may not work for you, but hopefully this will give you a good starting point that hopefully that you can take to determine your feeds and speeds. This O-flute bit is used for the rough pocket work on the center of the bit holder. It's gonna rough out a majority of the waste so that the next tool path, which is a smaller bit, can carve out the finer details. And the final operation for this O-flute bit is to cut out the profile of the bit holder. I wanted to carve the Bits and Bits logo in the center of the bit holder, and I used this 60 degree via bit from Whiteside, but unfortunately, I ended up going a little bit too deep and the logo wasn't as crisp as I wanted. So even though I'm gonna show you the bit cutting, I ended up erasing that using the surfacing bit and switching over to a 30 degree V bit, but I'll show you that later on. Next up is an eighth of an inch three flute end mill, and this is used for two tool paths. The first one being a drilling tool path for all of the eighth inch holes. The tool path that I went with is a pecking operation and you'll notice that after it goes down the full depth of cut, it comes all the way back out of the hole to evacuate the chips and it'll keep doing this all the way down to the half inch final depth. This is gonna help keep your bit cooler, it's gonna help evacuate all of the chips and it's just gonna give you a better hole. And the second most important thing is to get the feed rate right and that's why I went with six inches a minute because anything faster in my machine just was not happy. So listen to your machine and choose what works best for your machine. And the last operation utilizing this bit is to clean up that inside pocket. And since this is a pocket operation, I can turn the feed rate up just a little bit to 20 inches a minute. So I swapped out that eighth inch three flute for this quarter inch three flute, and I'm gonna drill some holes. Man, does it start to look awesome. Yeah, but I'm just not quite happy with that logo in the center. The definition isn't there. I went too deep. So I can erase that using that surfacing bit. I'm just gonna run the same exact pass that I did at the beginning of the video, same settings and everything. Just gonna go down and erase that and start all over. About five minutes later, I've got a clean slate and I can install the 30 degree V bit and redo that logo. I wasn't a fan of the aluminum look and I like the look of a brushed aluminum, brushed brass. It's just a personal preference. So I ended up using, I think a 2400 grit wet dry paper and sanded the surface just to give it that weathered look that I like. But of course, if you're building something like this or making something like this rather, you could leave it that raw aluminum look. It's just not the look that I liked. 
and check it out. The bit holder is done, and in my opinion, it's really awesome looking. And plus, it's going to give me a place to hold my bits, which is the important part of this video and why I made it. If you want to check out all of the bits that I used to make this holder, check out bitsbits.com, but they'll also be linked to below in the description. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.